The first page of the dashboard is the Accidents page. Click on the question mark icon in the top left corner of the page for an overview of the page's features and functions. Click the icon a second time to remove the overview. Moving clockwise from the top left corner, the first visual is a summary of general aviation accidents by calendar year. The dark blue portion of the bars represent non-fatal accidents, and the turquoise portions are the fatal accidents. Hover over the blue or turquoise portions of the bars with your cursor to view a pop-up display of the respective accident counts. Click on any year to see the total accident count, fatal and non-fatal, for that year. For example, if you click on 2019, each panel on the page will display the total number of general aviation accidents for the year 2019. Click the Clear Filters button in the bottom right corner to reset the dashboard. To filter by non-fatal and fatal accidents, click the dark blue or turquoise colored dot located in the left corner of each panel. All other panels on the page, like Phase of Flight, Defining Event, Accident Location Map, and Accident Rate, will update accordingly. Click the Clear Filters button to reset. Continuing across the top of the page, the next two panels show general aviation accidents by phase of flight and defining event. Click on the specific phase of flight like takeoff, initial climb, or en route, or the specific defining event like loss of control on ground, abnormal runway contact, or fuel related to see the related data. Click the Clear Filters button to reset. It's also possible to filter the accident data using multiple selections. For example, to add filters to the data displayed, hold down the Shift key and in Accidents by Calendar Year, click 2019. In Accidents by Phase of Flight, click Landing. And in Defining Event, click Abnormal Runway Contact. Now, click the View Details button in the bottom right corner of the dashboard. A list of accidents that meet all three search criteria, accidents that occurred in 2019, during landing, with the defining event as abnormal runway contact, will be displayed. Click the Clear Filters button to reset. In the bottom right corner of the dashboard, additional filters can be used to display accidents by flight operation type or by accidents that occurred in a particular state. There's also a summary statistics box that displays a count of accidents, fatal accidents, and fatalities based on filters selected. Continuing clockwise across the bottom, the next panel is a map showing accident locations. Click the Focus Mode box to enlarge the map. The plus and minus buttons in the upper right corner can be used to zoom in and out. Hovering the cursor over a single accident location will display a pop-up showing event and aircraft characteristics. The back to report button in the upper left corner closes the full screen map. Finally, the panel in the bottom left corner displays accident rates by calendar year. This panel uses NTSB accident data and FAA flight hour data to calculate the rates. When flight hour data are not available to make the rate calculation, the panel will indicate that accident rates are unavailable for the selected filters. For example, in the Filters panel, under Flight Operation Type, select Airdrop. Notice that the accident rates are no longer displayed because flight hours are not available for that operation type. Click the Clear Filters button to reset. Here's an example. Let's say you are interested in learning more about the characteristics of accidents involving aircraft that were operating as an instructional flight at the time of the accident and only want to see accidents that occurred in the years 2020 and 2021. 
Start by clicking the Clear Filters button to reset the dashboard. Next, in the Filters panel, under Flight Operation Type, select the box for Instructional. In the Accidents by Calendar Year panel, hold down the Shift key and click 2020 and 2021. Results can be further refined using additional filters. For example, to display accidents that occurred during landing, in the Accident by Phase of Flight panel, hold the Shift key and click Landing. To narrow the search to a particular state, in the Filters panel, select the box for the desired state. At any time, to display a list of accidents based on the filters selected, Click the View Details button in the bottom right corner. To download a PDF of a particular accident report from the filter list, click on the link in the NTSB Number column. That's all for this video on the Accidents page.